man today is gonna be amazing i'm starting my day off inside my home inside my studio listen i've been working on a mixtape it's a secret project oh you guys want to hear a preview i got you baby girl wants some breakfast Ooh, chop the cheese chop the onions Ooh, give it that twinkie Hey, yo, this man Quavo just interrupted my session. He just texted me saying, pull up to my Airbnb. Apparently, this man Quavo is in town. He's in Pittsburgh. He got an Airbnb. And listen, you know, me and him have been talking a lot. We might be working on a secret project together, a secret EP. I don't know. I'm about to head out to his Airbnb. I was like, which car should I take? Should I take the Lambo or should I take the Tesla, the Model X? So I decided to take the Model X gonna be a quick little drive like he lives like 20 minutes from my address so let's not waste any time and go straight to this man's airbnb i gotta say my parking is sensational let's go inside and see what this man is up to well, i think his airbnb has a studio inside so we might do a little session you never know let me go in here he said the door is unlocked all right, there he is. Quavo is here. He's in the building. He is going to show us around, I think. All right, show us around, my guy. So this is Quavo's bedroom of the Airbnb that he rented out. He's going to be here just for the weekend. This is his little, like, game room. And as you walk outside, this is where the pool is going to be. You know, we might, we might chill here later on. See, this is where we're going to be at for the day. We're going to record a secret project. But Quavo right now is trying to tell me that he wants to play quarterback for us what you know he told me he used to play quarterback back in the day and i started imagining like what would it look like if quavo played for the pittsburgh steelers where you're about to see it right now yo imagine if this happened imagine if quavo played for my team the pittsburgh steelers look at this man's speed quavius off to the races so we're chilling in the studio and this man is like look not only can i run the ball but i'm really good at passing a rock as well so i was like wait let me imagine that is this what it would look like Our studio session was super dope. You know, in reality, we don't have Quavo on our team, but can you imagine if we did? Let's get back to my career. Man, what is good? Welcome back to a brand new Madden 21 career mode. I hope you guys enjoyed that skit in the beginning. And yes, I do use GTA and I combine it with Madden to create this career mode. I'm a cornerback. And so far on the season with the Steelers, I have five interceptions, 35 tackles. I'm trying to do it all. I'm trying to take this team all the way to the Super Bowl. And here's like our starting lineup as far as the defense goes. And here is what our offense looks like. Now, don't forget, we do have Colin Kaepernick on this team. Big Ben has been struggling big time. So today we might see a quarterback change, like just for an experiment. You guys just saw our division standings today. We are coming off a of bye week. We are taking on the Dallas Cowboys in week nine. Man, we are so close to like finishing the regular season. The Cowboys have Dak Prescott, who on the season, he's not doing that terrible. 15 touchdowns, eight interceptions. Ezekiel Elliott coming in at an 80 overall. He only has two touchdowns. He's kind of struggling, but you guys see Tony Pollard has six touchdowns. CeeDee Lamb is leading the way as far as the receiving stats goes for the Cowboys. He has 623 yards and six touchdowns let's not waste any time and jump into week number nine
Boy, oh boy, here we are coming off the bye week. I'm feeling fresh. You know, I just got done having a studio session. Life is good right now. I'm not complaining. I just want to say if you guys have been enjoying these career mode videos, you know, it would mean a lot to me if you guys just take one second out of your day to give this video a like. You know, the more likes this video gets, the more YouTube will push it out to other people. So it will really help me out a lot. So, yeah, like I said, if you guys have been enjoying the series, make sure you slap that thumbs up button. The Cowboys right now are driving. They're looking really good. And look who gets his seventh touchdown of the season it is that boy cd lamb but not that touchdown my guy not that touchdown ea update these celebrations it is time to see big ben you know he has been on the hot seat he has kind of been struggling he's a pittsburgh Steelers legend you know we got to give him as many opportunities as possible but it's not looking good so far for him on that drive we did have to punt the ball on offense so here comes the Dallas Cowboys once again, and I'm not going to lie, I kind of started playing a bit aggressive on defense. Like, we've been sending a lot more pressure than the previous weeks, and it's been working out so far. Dak, right here, drops back, gets rid of it. Three Pittsburgh Steelers defenders were right there, and I was the one that came out with the INT. First quarter comes to an end. It is low score and seven to nothing. And once again, our offense gets nothing going. So we're gonna be out here playing defense. You know, we're kind of starting to get a bit fatigued. Cowboys have had the ball on offense like this entire half, it feels like. Dak gets rid of it, and this one is picked off by that boy Minka Fitzpatrick. I believe that is his first interception of the season. Oh boy, sit back and grab a snack. You're about to see this goofy offense go right back to work. I don't even know why I said right back to work. Because they haven't been doing any work. Another punt, just like that, the Cowboys take over. We're in the fourth quarter here. It is still 7 to nothing. We got to get a stop ASAP. There's about like 7 minutes left here. It is 2nd and six. Dak Prescott as the pressure was getting to him gets rid of it. Are you kidding me? A one-handed snag by Amari Cooper. We got to look at that again. Oh, Lord. If there's any moment that we have to try to make a comeback, it is right here. Oh, my Lord. Sweet Billy Jean. I'm just disgusted. I got nothing else to say. Leighton Van Der Esch, I'm so shocked right now. I didn't butcher that name. He's going to set up the Cowboys at the goal line. And then Ezekiel Elliott is going to punch this one in. Here we go, baby. I feel like we could really do it. I feel like we could really make a comeback right here, right? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. I mean, Big Ben's performance is equivalent to a can of beans today. Another interception, just like that. The Cowboys here in week number nine are going to walk away victorious. We scored a donut. We scored zero on offense. I feel like defensively, we did our thing. I got six tackles on the day, one interception. Other than that, though, we had nothing going on the day. So I got a skill point. I decided to work on my man coverage. And we're still going to be sticking at a 91 overall. My overall hasn't really changed. Week number 10, we do have the Cincinnati Bengals led by rookie Joe Burrow. Listen, in my career, he's actually healthy. He's not injured. And on the year so far, he has 12 touchdowns, six interceptions. Their top running back. It's Giovanni Bernard. You know, I'm kind of shocked. I didn't see Joe Mixon's name. He only has 23 carries on the season so far. I don't know why they're not starting him. That's kind of weird to me. Maybe he's hurt. I don't know. Tyler Boyd is leading the way with the receiving stats. 400 yards, five touchdowns. I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it. Big Ben on the season has 11 touchdowns and 10 interceptions. 
<laughs> that hurts my soul to look at Colin Kaepernick. He's about to draw his first start on the season. But look, listen. This is just for an experiment. This is just for this video. Joe Burrow has driven down the field. He's at the one yard line. And he's going to expose me right here. Okay, I got caught sleeping. A.J. Green is going to get the first touchdown of the day. Offense didn't really do much. So here comes Joe Burrow on the next possession. And we're going to bring a blitz. Like I said, I'm going to continue sending pressure, sending heat towards the quarterback. And T.J. Watt was able to get there for the safety. So now we get to see Colin Kaepernick so much time in the pocket. And that is not good. There was three Cincinnati Bengals jerseys right there. And we are so lucky that it didn't get picked off. The score is 7-2. Joe Burrow throws a pick. And look who it is. That boy, Eric Berry. I mean, talk about the genius that I am for signing Eric Berry in the beginning of the season. He has been so impactful for our defense. Straight up inspirational. Just like that, the score now is 7 to 9. And like I said, I'm going to keep on sending as much pressure as I can. Look at Colin Kaepernick. He's enjoying himself right now. Once again, I'm going to send a blitz. I'm going to send five to six defenders. Down goes Joe Burrow for another safety. Just like that, it is now 7 to 11. And here comes Colin Kaepernick. Look at how goofy the Cincinnati Bengals defenders are. They were all running straight. I have never, ever, ever seen that before. Just like that, at the half, it is now 24 to 10. Like I said, guys, we're gonna just experiment and see what Colin Kaepernick, I almost just butchered his name. I think I just did butcher his name. What Colin Kaepernick has to offer to us. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let you guys vote. I need you guys to vote on who you think is gonna start going forward. Either Big Ben or... Did he just throw? Did he just throw the ball at Minka Fitzpatrick? But like I said, I'm gonna let you guys vote on who you want to see going forward. Do you want Colin Kaepernick or do you want Big Ben? Make sure you guys get active in the comment section. We're at the two-minute warning of the fourth quarter. It is a one-possession game, 20 to 27. Joe Burrow right now is fighting. You know, it was a disastrous end to the first half, but he stuck around. He is fighting, and he has an opportunity here to tie this. Oh, I stepped out of bounds. Imagine if I just put the finishing touches to this game with an interception. The drive stays alive. Joe Burrow, so much time in the pocket. Maybe I should send a few more blitzes his way. 58 seconds left, third and one. He's gonna convert this one. And just like that, the drive stays alive. First and goal now. Dumps this one off to his running back. Giovanni Bernard is going to take this one to the seven-yard line. A pickup of two yards. Burrow drops back. Burrow is going to get picked off. Come on, baby. Stop testing your boy. Kaepernick marches onto the field and he is going to go in the victory formation and seal the deal for us 27 to 20. That was super exciting. I can't lie. It was a win that we truly needed. I couldn't afford to take back to back L's. But now, like I said, it's up to you guys. Who's going to start going forward? Kaepernick on the day went 17 for 29. He had one touchdown. Joe Burrow also did his thing, but it didn't help that he threw two picks. Here are the three receivers that got a touchdown on the day. And you see your boy with four tackles, one interception. Eric Berry also 
got himself an interception. So on the next episode, we'll go ahead and continue with the regular season. We're like at the bottom of our schedule now. We're in week 11. So we should be, you know, wrapping up the season very quickly. And so far, as far as the league leaders go, Matt Ryan has the most passing yards. Tom Brady has the most passing touchdowns. Well, this man has 27 touchdowns, two interceptions. Nick Foles is throwing the most picks so far. Rushing-wise, Josh Jacobs has the most yards. And then most touchdowns is by Nick Chubb. But check this out. Cordell Patterson has 10 so far. And then Nick Chubb's teammate, Kareem Hunt, has kicked off. Get it? Kicked, kicked off his... Okay, that was a bad joke. He's having a really good year with eight touchdowns. Julio Jones is getting close to 800 yards. Devin Funches has the most touchdowns. That has to be Aaron Rodgers doing all the work. Tremaine Edmonds has the most tackles. Miles Garrett has the most sacks. And as far as the interception goes, I am leading the league with seven. Seven interceptions so far. Like I said, guys, make sure you get active in the comment section. You guys have an opportunity to determine what is going to happen going forward. Do we give Big Ben one more chance or do we just stick out with Colin Kaepernick for the rest of the regular season? Let me know in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoy this. It's your boy, On to the Boss. I'm going to see you guys next time. I am signing out.